Hello, my name is Todd Perella, and this is the second of two videos that's talk, that talks to you about the improvements that we made in convergent modeling for NX1202. In the first video, we, we demonstrated the new mesh selection capabilities with the primitive and tangent facet selection. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the improvements that we made to mesh smoothing. Smoothing meshes can become can be very important because when you get geometry from topology optimization or from scanners, uh, that geometry can be quite rough and not necessarily ideal for CAD modeling. So thus, smoothing the geometry uh, would be advantageous to more effective and more robust downstream modeling, and also uh, it improves the aesthetics of the design as well. Uh, the way that we smooth in NX is with the smooth facet body command. Um, we have two options. A new option in, in the mesh smoother is to actually smooth uh, not only the mesh body itself, but the mesh boundary or the mesh edge. Uh, so that's new. We're going to just focus for the moment on smoothing the mesh body. Uh, the way that we smooth is that we, again, leverage our facet selection. So I'll use um, the single facet selection, and I'll, I'll window around, say, this left claw here. Um, should I over-select in, in the area, I just simply hold down Shift and Window Select, and it deselects. Uh, and then we have two options for smoothing. We have the intensity, which is somewhere between 1 and 100. If it's smoothing intensity of 1, it's, it's a very low intensity, so it will, it will still remain relatively close to the original. And a smoothing intensity of 100 um, is, is quite a bit more aggressive. Uh, let's say we change our smoothing intensity to about 5, uh, and we take a look at the results there. And the other option that we have is, is the number of iterations. Iterations is important because um, it prevents you from having to do this multiple times manually. You can set three iterations, and we will iterate interactively within the command to do the iterative smoothing. And you can see how pretty dramatically better that is um, from the, the preview. Uh, another option that you can do is turn on your facet edges to just to get a, a, an idea of, uh, of where you came from. So if turning off the dynamic preview, you can see the original, and then you can uh, select show results and you can get a pretty good idea of how well that, that claw has been smoothed. I'm going to select OK there and uh, look at the other portion of this where I have actually the claw and I have, have it looks like somebody created an extrusion uh, and, uh, and booleaned that extruded cylinder or tube shape into the crab's uh, uh, left, uh, right hand claw. So, if we take a look at the facets, and turning on the facets can be quite useful, you see that the, that the facet resolution of the cylinder is quite a bit lower than, than the scanned crab itself. So one thing that we may want to do prior to doing smoothing is uh, subdividing. Uh, subdividing uh, adds detail into uh, low detail areas of your scan um, to increase the mesh density. So you see here, I'm going to use that, that uh, the facet selection capabilities I showed you earlier to automatically pick up the, uh, the primitive regions. And you see I've added some mesh density into, into that region. And that can be quite useful for doing smoothing. Uh, when you have more facets to, to work with, uh, you get better, you can often get better results in that smoothing. Uh, let's turn off the uh, facet display for a moment and then just take, go back in here, and we'll, we'll do the, the smooth mesh operation. I'm going to use the same concept. I'll just window select uh, an area, just over select here. It's not a problem in NX. I just shift and, and deselect those regions. Uh, and then I'll turn on the dynamic preview to get some sort of a result for uh, how good of a job I did. And you see here, it, it, can, be, it can be a bit more complicated to smooth out the, the the rough analytic shapes, um, but if we use a combination of the, the smoothing aggression and the um, in the smooth iterations, you can see we can still do a pretty good job uh, getting that geometry smooth smoothed out. And I'll select this OK there, and you see it looks really, really quite a bit nicer. It's much smoother. Um, and more, more in tune with the rest with the rest of the crab. 
Uh, should I want to do a final smooth, I can do that and smooth the rest of the body. Let's look at another example of mesh smoothing, which is another typical case you get from uh, uh, topology optimization. We have a couple of different examples here. This is a less extreme case of a very uh, minimally optimized uh, hook. Uh, really didn't do much in terms of the optimization. But it does happen to show really well uh, the benefits of smoothing. If I pick my, my body faces to smooth, I can pick the body faces to pick the entire uh, mesh body. And I look at the, the results of that. Uh, you can see how incredibly significantly better that is as a result. If I increase my iterations, uh, I can get even better and smoother results in pretty much the, the click of a button. Uh, the final example that we have here is a pretty extreme case of um, topology optimization. And in this case, I maybe only want to uh, smooth the really um, jaggedy portions of the mesh. But for the, the sake of time, I'm going to go in here and pick the entire uh, convergent body again. Um, you notice here we have multiple convergent bodies that represent the CAD features. And I'm just going to go in and uh, reduce my smoothing factor, but increase my iterations. And then just select Apply there, and we'll see how dramatically better that, uh, that mesh result is. Um, I can then go in here and use other, op you know, other commands in NX, like a mesh offset, to, to offset the faces outward to give back some of the beef um, that I did happen to lose during the, op the smoothing operation. But with that, uh, that's mesh smoothing, significantly improved in NX1202. Uh, the combination of mesh selection and mesh smoothing should be uh, very beneficial to your convergent modeling workflows. Thank you very much.